So here's a quick one about a young guy who's only one month away from being married, one month until the big ceremony, and his fiance, who he's been with for eight years, requests an open relationship and wants to continue that in the marriage. And he, as you can imagine, is pretty screwed up by this and wants to know what to do. Title. My fiance, a 23-year-old female, asked me to open up my rela- the relationship after eight years. And this guy's been with her since they were like in junior high or high school. Like he was 16, she was 15. They're each other's one and only, at least on his end. And now one month before the wedding asking for this open thing. And yet people wonder why so many young men are walking away from relationships, walking away from dating because they see the environment that is out there right now. He says here, uh, I'm on my mobile, so I apologize for formatting. I'm a first-time poster, long-time listener of YouTube channels. My fiance, a 23-year-old female of eight and a half years, asked me if I might consider opening our relationship one month away from our wedding. Goodbye. It's over. The problem is, he's been with her so long, such a large percentage of his life, and not to mention like in moving into and in his adult life, he doesn't know what life is like without her. That's what happens to couples that have been together so long. They just don't know what life is like without the other one. And they accept shitty terms. Goodbye. It's over. But he shouldn't be getting married anyway. They're too freaking young. No experience. And given the average, the maturity level of your average Gen Z or Z-tards, come on here. Your average 20-something, do they have a good role model on how to be a wife or husband and be married? No, because half the population is divorced and had bad marriages. And not to mention that the 20 something has been raised by the parents, not prepared for adulthood. I mean, good Lord. He says that we met very young and have only slept with each other. And she expressed that she wanted to explore her bi side with women. And if I'm open to possibly men in the future. I've heard this whole I'm suddenly bi type of thing. And women use that to get the guy to kind of agree to it. Thinking, okay, it's a girl, no big deal. And in reality, it's not about the girl. She just wants some sausage. Asking if he's open to guys in the future, as in not just this quick little thing before you get married. Are you kidding me? But this is what happens when women are with a guy who they have no respect for. Who they know, no matter what they do, is always going to be there. She is just, this is a chess game, and she's moved her pieces into place right before the wedding, thinking, hey, it's too late to go back. Terrible. This makes me immensely uncomfortable, and after a lengthy discussion, I said I'm not okay with doing that. She said that while this is something she wanted to do, I was the most important thing in her life. How many times have you heard that? They, 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 they torpedo the relationship and they say, but I love you so much. You're the most important thing to me. Well, clearly your actions of bringing this up say otherwise. And uh, she understood and would not pursue it further. But she's mentioned it on occasion and sent memes and other things regarding open relationships since we had the conversation. And it kind of seems like she's subtly pushing me towards consenting. Dude, she is not being subtle in any way. She's constantly bringing up in little ways or sending you memes about open relationships. I think what's going on here is either she knows she she wants the cake and eat it too. She'll have the guy that she can marry, put a ring on her finger, have the guarantee and go through the ceremony and all that and have her girlfriends be the bridesmaids and blah, 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 that bullshit. And then have this guy so locked in, she can go fool around with Chad and Tyrone, whoever she's attracted to. Or, or she's trying to sabotage and hope he bails. You know, I'm going to bring this up and that way then he ends the uh, engagement, not me. And I don't disappoint the whole family, that type of thing. It's one of the two. It's got me thinking and researching, and I've come to find that some of her behavior is suspicious, and it all pulled together it makes me think she might have cheated on me. Dude, either she is cheating or she is planning on cheating. She stopped initiating the SEX for a couple months, made a new group of friends at work that come to find out they are all in open relationships. Imagine that. What I tell you about pay attention to who your girl hangs out with. So suddenly she's hanging out with new people. Suddenly she's no longer initiating the SEX. All her friends and who she hangs out with are in open relationships. What do you think is going to happen here? They have an influence on her. And again, I think she's finding a reason to try to bail make and put the failure of the relationship on him. Oh, he I wanted to stay in the marriage. I, I wanted to stay in the relationship, but he wanted to break up because it's his fault that the wedding's called off because I want to stay together. I just want to do what people are doing now, the open relationships. Bullshit. Uh, it says here, uh, she also stayed at a guy's house without my permission. 
a guy friend's house at my permission or knowledge, and she lied about it, saying that she was just drunk. So I slept. Th she slept there while this guy, who's 30 years older than her, still makes and makes me feel makes me feel kind of uncomfortable. And combined with some other things that added up, and tried to debate of opening the relationship, made me think she cheated. So she was out with friends and crashed at some dude's house who's 30 years older than her, claiming she was drunk and nothing happened. Sure. What a load of crap. I feel bad for this guy, but on the other hand, it's like I guarantee his treatment of her made her feel certain this guy's going in and wearing this, this is the crap I can pull. And it's unfortunate, again, this is why guys are walking away. Guys treat a girl like a human being with affection and love, and that is seen as weakness in today's crazy world. And this is how they're treated. No woman that loves their guy would ever want to do this, ever. Or a guy or girl that knows that he's going to walk away. This is why, if you're a relationship guy, you it sounds horrible, but she has to know that you can replace her. She has to know that you can walk, you you can and will walk away like that if she crosses the line, whatever that line or lines may be. It is an unfortunate truth. Human beings do not respect weakness, especially women. All of this makes me think opening the relationship seems meant to excuse cheating, and she's already done it, or because she likes someone at work and she wants to cheat on me. I don't know what to do, especially this this close to the wedding. Smack! Bro, you know what to do. It's just a, a very tough decision. Whether I should postpone or cancel the wedding for fear of these things being pursued by her without my knowledge, and there's a large risk of her cheating on me in the future, or that I'm just overthinking and reading th into things too much. Dude, you're not overthinking this. You trust your initial gut feeling. Will me saying no breed long-term resentment and doom our marriage before it starts due to the difference in our lifestyles that we want in the future? Any advice is welcome. Here's my advice, brother. End it with her. Walk away. You're going to get hit on some of the deposits you put down for the various things associated with the wedding. You marry her. This is your this is your life. You're always going to be wondering who she, what is she doing, who she with, all that. You deserve better. You're a good man, okay? I'm sure you were probably too nice to her. This has enabled her behavior, but you're young and didn't know any better. You cannot marry her. And if anybody has a problem with you ending the relationship, your family, her family, fuck them. This is your life. Your life will be miserable, okay? She is not marriage material. You need to end it with her and walk away. And you have to trust your gut, Always. His gut told him something's wrong here. And I guarantee you there's cheating already going on. This I was drunk and slept in a friend's house. What what fucking twenty something year old has a friend thirty years older? And it's a guy. She probably has daddy issues and hooked up with an older guy from her work. And again, all her friends are open relationships. What do you expect to happen? So guys, I wish this guy the best, but you cannot be <laughs> with someone like this. And this is why I do these stories as often as I do, because it, they're popping up everywhere. And he says he regularly watches like YouTube channels and Reddit things, so he can't be that surprised here. But again, this is why so many young guys are walking away from relationships and marriage. They, now, does every girl behave this way? No, of course not, but a hell of a lot do. And notice the pattern here. It's overwhelmingly in the Western cultures where feminism, the feminist movement, or the bowel movement, more appropriately called, has had a major influence. And, and, and your average feminist would say, we're not telling girls to go do this. Well, the strong and empowered thing is being interpreted to do, to do this type of thing, amongst many other things. So, guys, you cannot accept this type of situation. And this also shows you no girl loves her guy would ever do this. Your girlfriend must know she crosses the line with you. You are out of there. They do not respect weakness. I wish this guy all the best.